guys! Today I'm back to do kind of, for me it's a bittersweet video. It is my last Ulta haul. And by last, I mean my last haul as an employee getting my discount. So, I went a little crazy. Um, I think that before my discount and I returned like $100 worth of stuff and I used my points, it was like $300 before all that stuff. Once it was all taken off, it was only like 100 bucks or something like that, but it's definitely a little bit more of an insane haul, but I tried to kind of just get things that I needed or that I wanted, kind of like that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. There's kind of a lot of random products in here. There's really no rhyme or reason, so. First, I picked up this. Did I need this? Definitely not. This is just a little makeup bag. It says, just a girl who loves makeup, and it's got like a, like a little bow tie on it or something. It's cute. Um, I've been kind of wanting a little makeup bag to throw in my purse and I have plenty of these small makeup bags like this and you know the Sephora play bags like you can use those as a makeup bag. I know the last one that I got with the popsicle and the kiss on it I keep that in my beach bag and put like you know lip gloss and that kind of thing in there. Um, but I you know I didn't need this. I just kind of saw it and was like it's really really cute. I want this. And honestly, you kind of never really can have enough makeup bags because, I mean, you use them all the time. From the brand Tartan and Twine. So, you know, I've had a couple of their bags. They're really nice. It's got, you know, it's just black on the inside. There's nothing really special on the inside. It's just an empty little bag. Um, but I was like, okay, like this would be kind of cute to throw in my purse and keep my makeup in because I don't really do that anymore. I used to. Um, but since working at Ulta and, you know, if you go in the back room, even on your day off and you have your purse and there's makeup in it and it doesn't have a green dot, it gets confiscated. So now that it's not really an issue I have to worry about anymore, I might actually start carrying makeup in my purse again. Um, so I got this little makeup bag for in my purse. This I picked up and it's not what I thought it was, but I think I'll still use it. It is the Daily Concepts Your Stretch Washcloth. And from the way the packaging is, it's really hard to tell, like, what it is. It just kind of doesn't really tell you what this is other than a washcloth, but I thought it was, like, a microfiber towel, and I would be able to try using that because, I mean, everybody's been talking about the makeup eraser, and I've really wanted to try it, but I don't really want to buy the makeup eraser brand. And I know, like, I guess, like, Walmart and stuff sells, like, microfiber towels and stuff, but I thought that this was one, so I was like, oh, cool, like, I'm going to try this. It's not. I'll show you what it is. It's actually like kind of like a long, it's got little handles, it's like a long like really scratchy exfoliating like little washcloth thing. I'm kind of glad I picked this up on accident because I do tend to have really dry skin and you know scrubs do work for me, they do work pretty well but I don't know I just feel like this will help kind of get some of that dead skin off and it's kind of nice because the label like when the writing fades it's time to like replace it and toss this one out. So it does kind of tell you like when it needs to be changed and stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of glad I accidentally picked this up because I do think I'll use it and get a lot of use out of it. So even though it's not what I thought it was, I'm still kind of glad I got it. I talked about my empties video and I did pick up another one. This is the Freeman Beauty Infusion Cleansing Clay Mask, the Tarcone Probiotics one. They don't have a full size of these, at least not in my store. They just have these little sample packets. So I picked up another one. I don't know. I'd rather pick up a full size one, but for some reason this is all they have of those. So... I picked up another one. It's a really great, like, deep cleansing mask. It really gets all the gunk out of your skin, so I really like it, so I did pick up another one. This I picked up kind of hoping it would be something similar to that. This is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. Um, so same thing, it's got charcoal in it and stuff, but I like Derma E just because they're, you know, cruelty-free. They're pretty natural, basically. They're pretty natural, so that's kind of why I tend to like them, but I kind of checked it out. It looks really similar to the Freeman one, so I guess I'll kind of have to test it out and see how it works, but I do really like Freeman, so I have my fingers crossed that this is going to be something I really like and I can get instead of the Freeman one since it only comes in little packets, so we'll kind of have to test this one out. Picked up another Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. My boyfriend really likes this and I do too. This is kind of a great dupe for the um, Philosophy Purity Cleanser, which I wanted to pick that up because it was five times the points on Philosophy, but I just was having a hard time justifying it. Um, but this is really nice. It takes off all your makeup and it's, I don't know, it's just really pretty moisturizing. It makes your skin feel really soft and stuff. So we both really like this. So I picked it up because we seemed like we were going through the bottle that we current ha currently have pretty quickly. So 
picked up another one of those. Picked up another Batiste dry shampoo in neon lights. Like I said, this will probably be my last one since I'm not going to be working at Ulta anymore and I don't know that Walgreens carries Batiste, but I want to branch out and try some other dry shampoos anyway, so this might be the last can I pick up for a while. Believe it or not, I have almost actually cleared out my entire lotion collection. I have a little baby Hemp's travel size one, um, I have one that's in Project Pan, and then I have one from uh, the body shop that's called the Body Sorbet, and it's like a kind of like a jelly lotion that's kind of got like a cooling sensation to it. But otherwise, I really don't have any other lotions besides those. And I was like, wow, like I'm really low on lotion. That's kind of strange. That does not happen. It's been a long time since I've had that happen. So I picked this up because I've had my eye on it and I wanted to try it. It's the Aveeno Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Um, it calms and relaxes with lavender, chamomile, and ylang ylang. I can never say that. And I, hopefully that's right. Um, but it moisturizes for 24 hours. It's got oatmeal and stuff in it too. So I just kind of like took a quick little sniff of this and I'm like, it smells pretty nice. It smells pretty relaxing. So I was like, you know, I think this is something that I would really like. Um, it's something I'd prefer over, you know, the Bath and Body Works, like super fragrance body creams and stuff. Like it's just something that's, I think, a little more appealing to me. I picked this up and I'm excited to get to try it a little bit more. These are super boring, but I kind of needed these. These are the Karina. They're just like little clear elastics. I just don't have any of these, and whenever I braid my hair, I always want these, but I never have any. So there's 150 in here, so hopefully I don't lose them all or break them all, but picked up some of those. This little bottle of Sun Bum SPF 50 sunscreen, and we're actually almost out. And since we like it so much, and we've been going through it so much, and it's probably my favorite sunscreen. I decided to pick up a big bottle, so same thing, just a bigger bottle and a lot more product. Um, these smell like bananas too, which I think is really nice, so glad I picked this up just because I don't know, again, if Walgreens really carries this, but I love it, so this is something I'd probably go back to Ulta and pick up again if Walgreens doesn't carry it, but this I love and I'm glad I picked it up again. Kind of on to the more fun stuff. Um, this I debated about for forever. I'm like, I just did my decluttering video. Do I really want to do this? Um, but I ended up getting rid of the Fiona Styles foundation in my decluttering video. I mentioned I was kind of thinking about keeping it. So that left me with my Kat Von D locket, my Maybelline Fit Me, and my Too Faced Born This Way. All three of those I love. Um, I'm planning on picking up the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation kind of down the road maybe. But I wanted to try this one because... I've seen some pretty good reviews, I've seen some things that are not so good about it, and I have a little bit more faith in this than I do the Urban, Urban Decay Naked Skin. The Naked Skin, I like it, but I just don't love it. It's just not... It used to feel really lightweight and like I had nothing on when I first got it, and now after wearing it so many times, I'm like, it just doesn't feel like anything special. So I wanted to try this. This is the All Nighter Foundation, so this is supposed to be, you know, full coverage, very long lasting, and this is again kind of another product I'm testing out while I'm looking for like a wedding foundation, even though it's pretty far away and God only knows how many things will launch before my wedding. Um, but I wanted to try this because it's supposed to be really good coverage, it's supposed to be long lasting. So I picked up mine in the shade number one. We'll see how it goes. It seemed like a good match for me in the store. I mean, I'm pretty fair with like slightly warmer undertones. So it seems like a good match for me, but I'm just interested to see like how it's gonna wear and how it's gonna look. If it's not good, I'm going to take it back and I just won't get anything. I'll just, you know, wait and say stay at four foundations. So I'm like, since I have three, four is kind of my goal. I'm like, I can technically get one more. So I'm at four now that I have this, but if it doesn't work out, like I said, I'll probably pick up the Marc, uh, Marc Jacobs one, the Remarkable Foundation. So this I just want to try, see how it is. If it's good, I'll keep it. If it's not good, I'll return it. Another Urban Decay product I picked up, and this one might be going back because I'm kind of debating about it. In my eyeliner declutter video, I talked about the Urban Decay, their old liquid liner products that they had, and I had that color in Siren that was really, really beautiful. This is the closest I could find. This is Deep End, and it's close, but it's definitely not the same color, so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep it or not. It's super pretty, but I just keep debating back and forth on it. So this might not be staying, this might be staying, I just can't decide. Um, it's just such a pretty color, but it's not exactly the color I was looking for. This was kind of the main reason for my last Ulta haul. This is the Paco Rabone Olympia perfume. 
this is the first like women's fragrance that I know that they've come out with. They've had they have two men's ones at least at Ulta and my boyfriend loves both of them but the Invictus which is his favorite and my favorite last time I got it for him he ended up breaking out really really bad so he can't wear it even though it's like one of his favorites but Olympia this smells so good I only gave this like a week and then I was like okay I'm in love with it so I'm gonna pick it up um unfortunately I wanted the one ounce one because I do kind of change my mind about perfumes kind of frequently they only had the 1.7 ounce though, so I think it'll be okay, but this did end up being like $25 more because it's the 1.7 ounce. So, packaging's beautiful. I love it. Um, I haven't really opened mine yet, but it smells really good and I like it, so I'm excited to start wearing this. I've wanted to try for a while. This is the Soap & Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. A lot of people have talked about these. This isn't the exact color I wanted, but I figured that this one would be good because it would go with a lot of different ones. This one is in the color Spun Sugar, so it's pretty much a clear gloss with like lots of shimmer in it. I swatched it, the tester, and it was beautiful, so I was like, alright, we'll try it out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Soap & Glory has some really good products, so that and I'm going to be selling Soap & Glory at Walgreens, so I was like, I might as well kind of try out a little bit more of their stuff and kind of get an idea of what I like and what I don't. Another Soap & Glory product I picked up, um, this one I'm pretty impressed with. This is the 2-in-1 Brow Sculpting Crayon and Setting Gel. You can see I already opened mine. It's actually what I have on my brows today. I was planning on picking up the Anastasia Brow Definer and I was just like, you know, it's like a unique shaped pencil. It's not like anything I have. Um, and once I get rid of all my brow pencils, I'm like, I kind of don't know. Like, I just haven't been happy with my brows lately. So I kind of wanted to try something a little different with them. A different product or whatever. So I decided to try a pencil. It's kind of got this weird shape to it. So I had the Anastasia one in my bag. I was ready to like get it. And then when I was checking out Soap and Glory and I was looking at the gloss, I saw that they had a couple brow products. So I decided to look at those too. And this caught my eye and I was like, this is probably one of the smartest products I've ever seen. So this is called Archery. So it's got your brow pencil on one end. So as you can see, it's really similarly shaped to the Anastasia one. And that's that angle and it's kind of like, you know, a little bit triangle shaped almost because it kind of widens out here towards the bottom um so i used it today i really really like it it is very natural looking in my brows which is kind of what i was looking for but the genius part of this is the bottom twists off here and there's a little clear brow gel on the end i think that's super super cool i used the brow gel today as well I like it. Um, it doesn't leave my brows feeling crunchy or anything, but I did have a little bit of trouble getting a couple hairs to like lay in place. So I don't know if that was necessarily the wand on this or just brow hairs are being super difficult. Whatever it was though. I like this. Mine obviously is the blonde color, so this is called Love is Blonde. There was a brunette one, so they don't have as many colors as Anastasia has, but I was like, blonde is blonde. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one. And like I said, I really like it so far, so I'm excited to keep trying this out and playing with it. These, I really, i kind of been back and forth on these two. These are the Stila Stay All Day Magnificent Lipsticks. These are their actual matte lipsticks. They're not a liquid lipstick. They're a regular traditional lipstick, but they're matte. Um, there was one color I wanted that started with a C, and they were out of that one. And this was kind of the next color that was very very similar I think this one was just a bit lighter but the packaging is really cute and I was like this would just be a great little lipstick to throw in my purse it's like a nice size um, and it's very very thin so I'll give you a swatch of it pretty impressed it seems like it's gonna be a nice formula but that is the color there this isn't the color brulee by the way I don't think I said that but that's what it looks like there it seems a little dry but it seems like once you kind of get that top layer off it pretty much glides on so I'll kind of have to play with this a little bit more too. Um, the main thing I really want to do is make sure it's not an exact dupe for anything in my collection already because if that's the case then I'll probably return this one because I won't need it. Um, but so far it seems really nice. This is another item that I was kind of beating myself up about but since I ended up getting rid of two things that I had originally was going to keep in my declutter I was like okay I'll get this. Um, I decided to get rid of the Body Shop Tea Tree BB Cream. It just really wasn't working for me. It just wasn't working as good this time around as it did last time for me. And I've also decided to get rid of the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. 
really left me with the Cosmetic CC Cream and the Smashbox like BB Water, which I like them both, but I want a BB cream that I can wear under powder foundations, which I can the BB Water, but I just don't love it under powder foundations. I like that one for more when I'm just going for more natural makeup. And the it Cosmetics CC Cream is pretty full coverage on its own, so I don't really want to layer a, you know, powder foundation on top of it. So I kind of wanted a sheer BB cream that could I kind of work as a primer under powder foundations for me. So I picked this up. This I was gonna pick up the Maybelline one, the Dream Wonder, with the blue for oily skin and acne, but I decided to pick up this one because it was new and I just hadn't really heard anybody talk about it. It's the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfector, and this is in the lightest shade Fair. I actually have this on today because I wanted to test it out immediately. That and I have a couple, like, breakouts and stuff. I don't understand where they're coming from, but I have a couple breakouts. So I do have a powder foundation on top of this, but I'm really impressed. This is pretty sheer coverage, but it really did even out my skin, and it set pretty nicely. So I think I am really going to like this. I mean, so far, I already really like it, so I'm excited to try it out. I'm hoping that because it is for acne, it won't cause me to break out further. Um, but since I used to like the Maybelline Dream Wonder one with acne medicine in it, I think that this should be okay. So since I got rid of two BB creams, I'm telling myself it's okay that I picked up another one, but I am struggling a little bit with it. And this too, this is another item that I was like, I just decluttered, what am I thinking? Why am I doing this? Um, but this is the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer. I've had my eye on this for a while and just never picked it up. There was no tester or anything, but I was like, you know, the reviews online for this are pretty good, so that's kind of what convinced me. I have to say, I know I debated about it and I'm kind of beating myself up for it, but I don't regret it because this is actually really, really nice. So, like I said, this is the Cool A Day Dream Mineral Primer. Um, it's SPF 30, so it does have sunscreen in it. It comes out and it's just like a white, it almost just looks like a white little like a thicker lotion um but it feels so velvety like seriously just like a dream it's so wonderful um it does kind of help fill in pores and it's because it's i don't know it's just a little more moisturizing than like my nyx um angel veil which is kind of a mineral like veil primer which is kind of what this seems to be but this is a little bit more moisturizing. So this, I'm like, okay, I could see myself using this for a lot of different things. I could see myself using it as a primer. I could see myself using this on no makeup days to kind of fill in my pores, mattify my face, and to have SPF. So mm, I'm, a, I'm a little mad at myself for buying another primer when I told myself I wanted a Loomis one and I wanted a matte pore filling one and that's all I needed. But this is really good. And like I said, I could see myself using it for other things. I'm like, okay one more primer isn't going to hurt. If I draw the line here, which I think I will because there really aren't any other primers out there I feel like trying or getting, um, I think I can make room for one more because, like I said, this seems really nice. That is actually it for this Ulta haul. I'm in amazement of how much it cost, even though it just didn't feel like it was that much because I'm like, I've had bigger hauls than this that cost less than this. Like, I'm so confused, but yeah, it... I don't know, it just didn't feel like that much, I guess, when I was, like, checking out and everything, and then I saw the total, I was like, oh my god. But, anyways, that is it. That's my final Ulta haul. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll do other ones here and there, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's obviously not as often and that kind of thing, just because I'm not an employee anymore, so I don't get a discount and that kind of thing, so... I could kind of see myself just waiting and doing them when the 20% off coupons come out or when a good coupon comes along, but otherwise I really think this is going to be good and it's going to be a nice step back from buying makeup all the time because just being at Walgreens I probably won't buy quite as much cosmetics so that's what I'm hoping um and hopefully I can kind of stick with this because it feels really good to not have so much makeup and yeah so that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you next time bye